Hi guys, welcome back to ASP.NET MVC tutorial. I'm Ashish. So this is part 39 of this video series. Before proceeding, please watch part 38 in order to know about the basic concept of attribute routing. Okay, so now in this tutorial, I'm gonna discuss about how to display multiple checkbox with checked or unchecked values. Okay, I'm creating this video because of my viewers request. Okay, so before starting do subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed and don't forget to press the bell icon if you want to get notification when new video is uploaded. Okay, so let's get started. So here I'll just give you the simple basic example so that you can understand easily. Okay, so first of all I'll just create a class. So right click on your model folder and add a class. Okay, so I'm just giving a name, let's say my shop. Okay, and add. And now add some attribute like public and let's say item ID. get set and copy this paste and paste okay and item ID and then item name and the third attribute is is available okay now go to your controller and in the index method just create the object of this my shop okay so I'm just taking the list so item list equal to new list of my shop okay now the next step is to add some item into it okay so item list dot add in bracket new so you want to add item from my shop class so my shop in curly braces put a space you will uh, you will get the suggestion of all attributes okay so first item id is int so i'll just take one and then all are int so I'll just convert it into a string and I'll just take it as bool okay so is available either be true or false okay now put a space item name and right let's say you have rice okay and is available equal to true or false so yes rice is present in my store okay now copy this and add some more item okay now add pulse let's say salt sugar say so and last thing let's say book book is also available in my shop okay so is available is true 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 let's make false for few items like say pulse is not available salt is not available and let's say shop is out of stock okay and now I'll just insert this item into view back dot let's say item list should be equal to my item list okay now go to your view so here you can see the view I have nothing on the right side 
okay so first of all I'll just take a div give a class call md let's say 5 okay and I just want to bind my item into an order list so take an on order list give it a class list group okay and then add for each where item in item list just copy this view pack view pack dot item list okay so I just want to iterate through list okay now add a list and give it a class let's say list group item okay and inside this I'll just display my checkboxes okay so give a class checkbox okay and now take a take an input input of type checkbox see and the checkbox should have unique ID so ID let's say check underscore at the rate item and item dot item ID okay so I just want to make it as unique okay and checkbook has checked property so checked should be equal to at rate item dot is available okay and I just want to display label see label for for equal to and for in the for we just give an ID so label for this ID and display text let's say item dot item name okay so let's verify item ID so item ID here it should be as equal to this name so item name okay now let's run this and let's see what's gonna happen here so here you go so you can verify the item from the list so rice rice is available and then sugar and then book so you can see book sugar and rice is available in my store okay now you can also give title for this so just add a list class equal to let's say list group item heading okay and you can give it active as active and you can add h4 say h4 class equal to list group item text and let's see my shop let's see item available in my shop okay so 
I'll refresh this so you have taken it as active you, if this class will uh, so item available in my shop or oh, and you also need to give a class list group item okay so you will see the difference here you go so item available in my shop okay now I need one more button so list class equal to list group item and inside that you can take an anchor class equal to btn space btn you can take success or you can say update item okay and now I have taken and uh, a button let's say btn block okay so it will cover up whole width okay so in this way you can display your checkbox data so here so in the next video we will see that how to update this data I mean suppose I just want to send the checked item to the controller so we will see in a next video okay so till then you should remember that checkbox has this checked equal to uh, this check checked uh, property or uh, you can say attribute so if you want to make it as true then it will be true or false or false okay so in this way you can display your checked item okay and uh, to make the checkbox attractive you can use this class checkbox and you can take a label to display the name of see okay so hope you understand it and also you can uh, I have just uh, uh, I have inserted data manually but uh, you can get the item from the database and in database you can uh, have have this my shop table and this this is the column so you want to update this column as true or false this is a basic example so that you can understand easily okay so that's all from my site we'll see you in a next video so hope you like it and uh, if you like it then give us a thumbs up and don't forget to press the, the bell icon if you want to get the notification at the time when new video is uploaded okay so thank you very much for your love and support and have a great day